Welcome back to Tennis Talk, my name's Cam Williams, and we have the final event of the regular season for the ATP this week, the Stockholm Open. It was actually canceled last year due to COVID, so it's back after two years absence. And we've got a lot of young players playing in this event, but some big names have also pulled out, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So this is a very long withdrawal list. Vasilashvili, he's out. Diminor, Dimitrov, Garin, Umber, Herkatch, Karatsev, Monfils, Nori, Rud, Schwartzman, Sonego and Zverev have all pulled out of this event. Most of those players are the ones who have actually qualified for the ATP Finals, so they're not playing this event so they can get ready for next week. All right, starting at the top of the draw, we have eight seeds in this one, and the top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Yannick Sinner, he is the number one seed of this event. He gets a buy in the first round. He awaits the winner of Murray, the wild card, taking on a qualifier in the first round. And again, Murray just can't catch a break with these draws. He's always playing the top seeds in these small events. But hey, who knows? Maybe he can get the win over Sinner if he makes it through the first round. Then we've got the wild card, Leo Borg, who, yes, is related to Bjorn Borg. He's the son of Bjorn Borg, so very fun to watch him. He's taking on Tommy Paul in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number five seed, Fritz, in the second round. So a lot of players to watch out for in this one. Actually, probably everyone is worth watching because Sinner, great form. Fritz is in great form. Murray's a veteran. Tommy Paul's been in pretty good form as well. And Borg, the son of Bjorn Borg. That'll be interesting to see how he does. So pretty much watch everybody in this part of the draw. Going to the second part of the draw now, and we've got Evans, the number four seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Fakina versus McDonald. We're going at it in the first round. Then we've got Martinez versus Rusevori. Winner of that match takes on either Ima or the number eight seed Tiafo in the second round. So the players I'm watching out for in this one, you've got to watch out for Evans, but the big one is Tiafo. Watch out for him because he's been in great form in the last couple of weeks. Made the final of Vienna only a week ago. Beat City Pass along the way, so definitely got to keep an eye out for Tiafo, especially in the top half of the draw. With a lot of really good players at the very top of the draw, but he might be able to make a semi-final if he can put some matches together. And the way he's been playing lately, he should be able to make the semis. Bottom section of the draw now, and we've got Bublik, the number six seed. He takes on Rindernik in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Goacek or Giron in the second round. Then we've got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that qualifier battle is going to take on the defending champion for 2019 and the number three seed, Denis Shapovalov. And we all know Shapo hasn't been in great form since Wimbledon, but maybe this is the chance to finish off with a really good result in a tournament that he is the defending champion of. So we'll be watching out for Shapo this week. He's the biggest name in this part of the draw that I'd be watching out for, and he is the defending champion. And the bottom section of the draw now, we've got the number seven seed, Fucevic. He takes on Manorino in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Van der Zanschul or Thompson in the second round. Then we've got Bayana versus Krajanovic. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Felix Ogier-Aliassim. So watching out for FAA in this one. He is still legitimately a backup for the ATP Finals. If he wins this event, it would be his first title. That's one thing. But also, he would be a reserve for the ATP Finals as, uh, as well as Sinner. So big points on the line here, not just to get his first title, but also maybe play the ATP Finals if there are some injuries in that top eight. So FAA, if you're wanting to have a good week here, and he's got a pretty good draw, but remember, he will most likely be playing Shapovalov if both of them make it to the semis. But based on form, those two guys aren't playing great lately, so who knows who's going to make the semifinals in the bottom half. So there it is, the Stockholm Open. We didn't get it last year, which was a bit of a shame, but we have it back this year in 2021. Shapovalov, the defending champion, he is in the bottom half of the draw. He hasn't been in great form lately. Is this his chance? to finish off with a really good result. And of course, the Davis Cup is coming up for those guys like the Canadians, Chapeau and FAA. So maybe if they can get some good results this week, it'll help them in the Davis Cup in a couple of weeks' time. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? Because it's pretty wide open. Maybe Sinner is the obvious choice, but who knows? Last match of the season or last tournament of the season, it's anyone's guess. So taking a look at the draw here, and I'm going to go with Tiafo. I think he's had a great couple of weeks. And in a draw where... You know, the names aren't as big as, you know, the top 10 players like Zverev and those kind of guys. I know Sin is top 10 technically right now, but I think Tiafo might be able to sneak through the draw and finish 2021 with a win. He's been in great form lately. Uh, he's going to have to get through Sinner in the semifinals potentially, which would be tough. But who knows? Sinner might lose to someone like Fritz or Murray in the first couple of rounds and give Tiafo a little bit of a break and get to the final. So, Tiafo, he's my pick to win this whole event. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win the last regular season event? So the ATP, it's coming to a close, with the Stockholm Open being the final event of the season for most of the players. 